Morning. I'm um, just hanging out in my car because it's really cold. Well, 41 degrees. I'm um, just waiting to see if anyone shows up for my class this morning. Um, it's pretty slow because you know, the holiday weekend and everything. But I wanted to uh, just share a little bit. I don't think many of you know exactly like my backstory. Um, I have, I guess, always been active in a way. I've been, I was a dancer. Uh, so I guess about I think around age five I started dancing and loved it. That was like my thing. I just took with it. Um, by eight I had auditioned for a local dance competition company at Creative Dance Center in uh, Northern Virginia. Shout out. Um, and from age eight to I think 16 I was competing so that was about five days almost five days a week of dance practice um, and it wasn't just like one class sometimes it was two classes back to back um, and then about almost every other weekend or at least twice um, yeah about every other weekend I think we were um, competing and it would be locally or just um, We'd always have like our summer ones. We'd go to nationals um, in Ocean City. So I was doing that and loved it. You know what I mean? I got to do tap and contemporary and ballet and hip hop and everything. So um, I learned a little bit of everything. It was a lot of fun. And uh, that was my life. I didn't know anything else. You know, school and dance. School and dance. My friends were all from dance. Um, once I got into high school and then after 16 I ended up uh, auditioning for the school dance team made it took I think two tries <laughs> to finally make it because it was straight up hip-hop um, and it wasn't just like little flitty ditty stuff it was like what you see in the music videos our coach was a uh, I don't know how to say nicely like a tyrant she was really really tough though I mean we practiced in the hallway um, of the gym we didn't even have like an actual room. We were on concrete floor. Uh, so the football, football coaches and the wrestling coaches would always be like, man, you know, you guys work these girls harder than we work our guys. Um, so that was really great. And I did that for two years and I loved it. The college comes around and guess what? I did nothing, nothing. I didn't do any dance. I didn't have the confidence at all to be able to go to this huge university. I came to here to ASU. Arizona State and to be able to go to a huge university and think that and I had the confidence to, to dance which I should have I've been dancing for 13 years I should have had the confidence in myself to do it but I didn't so I did absolutely nothing maybe here or there you know going to work out at the gym lifting weights and stuff but I did no cardio and my eating stayed exactly the same so I ate just as much as if I was dancing five days a week so you can imagine how much I gained there was no more like freshman 15 I think I gained almost let's see I would say almost close to more like close to like 30 pounds my first year so that was a big shocker you know um I had to do something and really I never knew what to do I didn't know what I was doing as far as the dancing the exercising and the cardio and the plyometrics that go along with dance I didn't understand any of that um, and what I was doing I just was like well let's dance that's what I do for fun no big deal um, but there is there's a there's a combination of what you eating what you're eating and what you do physically and they have to work together and they have to balance out I never understood that I still don't think I ever truly understood that until maybe a few years after I met my husband because uh, he has, owns a martial arts gym. It's pretty successful here in Chandler, Arizona and um, he has a lot of fighters and so I sort of worked and built the business up with him at the very beginning and I had to learn about how fighters lose weight and how to you know and how that all just balances out you know while they're still trying to train for a fight and get stronger and be better meanwhile lose weight and get leaner and lighter so I definitely learned a little bit more about that but for sure my most important and like the most valuable education I had um, on understanding diet and weight loss and just getting healthy was once I finally jumped just off the in just head first everything just just dived in and didn't think about it was when I decided to become a coach 
and knowing that if I'm a coach, I don't need to be an expert. I don't need to be a fitness nutritionist or fitness expert, but I definitely need to know what the heck I'm talking about, at least from experience. So I did. I had to learn. I had to understand how all this works. How can I get the best results using the programs that Beachbody has, but then really it's ultimately up to each person on the validity of the success that you see from all of the different infomercials and testimonials. So I learned so much. I actually have a better, much better understanding and appreciation of food as my fuel to energize me and to also keep me healthy, to keep my organs healthy, to cleanse my body of all the toxins. Um, I mean, it's just, you know, it is a machine and we need to respect it. And I think for so many years, I never really thought of it that way. Um, and I just took advantage of, you know, my youth and my high metabolism, but man, I noticed that all that started down, going downhill after 25 and after having two kids back to back, can't rely on any of that. So I know it got a little bit longer, but I just wanted to let y'all know where I started from and where I am today. So I do understand the struggle. You know, I have gone up, you know, my lowest was 115 and my highest was topping over 180 may not seem like a lot for you, but for me, absolutely. I'm maybe 5'4", and you know, I've always been active and always been slim, so I know what my body can look like. So many of you know that. If you know what your body can look like, and you're so far from it, it can get very frustrating and um, just debilitating where you don't even have the motivation, you don't even want to even start trying because you're afraid of the failure. But don't be afraid of the failure because really, once you start, you just have to take those baby steps. Don't think about, okay, you know, I'm 190, I'm 200 pounds or something. Don't think about, you know, I'm trying to get all the way down to 130. That's going to take me forever. No, break it up. Do little mini goals. You know, just try to get to that first month. First month, how much do you realistically want to lose? You want to lose five pounds in that first month? Awesome. It's a little bit over a pound a week, and that is a great, great goal. Any more than that, you're really going to be sort of sac sacrificing and suffering your body. Um, and you don't want yourself to um, hate it. And that's what you're going to do. If you try to do too much in one time, you're going to hate it. You're going to say, screw it. And then you're going to let it go. And then you're going to gain it all back. Or you're just not going to see any more success. So I really urge you to try and just start and do baby steps. And all along the way, you sign up. I am your coach and I am there. You have my organization and you have my uplines organization as well and we are an amazing group of ladies and we still have some men but they're very quiet <laughs> and we will be there all, all along the way to help you to motivate you on the days you don't want to we will be there to push you say yes remember that goal you were trying to reach remember what you were trying to do you wanted to be able to stay fit for your family you wanted to you know do that 3k whatever it is that your goals are and I always try to put a goal of actively doing something. It's not necessarily the bottom line, the weight on the scale, because I don't like the weight on the scale. I weigh a little bit more than I did when I looked 18, but I can tell you for sure, just in my face, I look way better than I did at 18, but I don't weigh less than that. So the scale is not your end all. Your, your goals should be your end all, whether you want to do that marathon, you want to do that triathlon, you know, you want to fit in those skinny jeans again, you know, something like that is way, way better and so much more, um, more fulfillment when you actually reach that as opposed to when you just look down on that scale and you see the number. So hope y'all are having a great morning. I hope that it didn't take too long, but that you guys definitely enjoyed the video. And, um, if you want any more, please hit me up and I'd love, love to meet you and work with you. Bye guys.